remaining as a guru, Vyasa Devi is a perfect example of, of a disciple. Mm -hmm. and, and a few examples of that is to begin with that comes to mind. Is Sri Vyasa Deva, as we know, in the beginning of the Bhagavad, and it is described how he felt, uh, how do you say in English, despondent, mm -hmm. in due to feeling incomplete himself. So he had the humility and the sincerity to acknowledge, hey, I'm not fulfilled. I, I, I don't want to play self-satisfied guy in front of all of you. I, I'm fulfilled. I'm crying. I'm despondent. I'm in anxiety. I feel something. I can upgrade what I've done till now. I, I don't like to claim that what I've done is perfect. And that's a guru. No? So there's place for a guru acknowledging a few of that stuff. No, it's okay. There's place for a guru sometimes saying, I don't know. <laughs> Once someone asked you, like, Prabhupada, Prabhupada, who is the, the yuga avatar portrait of yuga? And Prabhupada said, I don't know. And he continued talking. Like, <laughs> I mean, we're in Kali Yuga, Mahaprabhu came. That's enough news to go deep into that. So, create the yuga, yuga. I don't know. It's okay. It's not that. He's not, well, not bona fide anymore because he didn't know that specific and so on. I mean, the guru is not like an entertaining machine to to massage all your intellectual curiosities and whatever question. It's not about entertaining, but it's about real commitment and nourishment. So, so yes, they've had that humility as a guru and acknowledging there is something else I can do. I made not a mistake. I'm not saying yes, was mistaken at all, but he was he had the openness to continue growing. It's not that, okay, I'm a guru, so I can claim perfection, nobody can tell me anything, whatever I'm saying is perfect. No, he was willing to continue evolving, continue developing. And of course, the result of that was Srimad Bhagavatam. And without Srimad Bhagavatam, we wouldn't have Gaudiya Sampradaya. But what's the Bhagavatam? is the result of the genuine guru correcting himself. In one sense, Vyasa being strict with himself, correcting himself, aligning, entering to a deeper level, so to say, of alignment with reality, the Samadhi, Basya, Srimad Bhagavatam, Mahaprabhu, Gaudiya Sampradaya, and so on. But the Sri Vyasa that publicly tells his story in the Bhagavatam to Narada, mm -hmm. and uh, I mean, tells his story about what happened to Nar with Narada. <laughs> So he makes public his, how to say, his shortcomings, so to say. It's not that that cannot be made public. That's important. Sometimes having a guru correcting himself publicly, it's a very important lesson for the rest of the audience, for the rest of the community. 